congratulations because you were up before like half of America. Just kidding. <laughs> but you're up really early and that's awesome. We are in day five of 21 days of prayer and I'm so happy that you joined me today. If you're not joining me right now, you're going to join later. Hi, Paula. I'm so excited that you're here. Um, so we are praying for a few different things today, specifically fam community. And I also have some needs um, through our church and through our community, our neighborhood and whatnot. I'm going to invite my husband to come. Here, I can take her. This is my dog. This is Leah, and she's going to pray with us today. Just disregard. <laughs> disregard, Leah. Um, how'd you sleep? Slept well. Yeah. Like a rock. Yeah? Yeah. We're in day five. I know. How many more to go? <laughs> um, 21 minus 5, whatever that is. Yeah. That was a question to you. <laughs> I would use a, yeah, I would use a calculator <laughs> if I had one. But yeah, I am, I'm on my iPad as well, so if you want to send in your uh, Facebook uh, comments for a prayer requests, I can do them right now. I don't know why though, because it's not showing my Facebook live feed. That's odd. Do you want to, can you download the Facebook app on here as I'm praying for things and see if that like works better? Weird. I can kind of see it from where it's at, but hi, nah. <laughs> That's um, Preston's yeah. grandma. Um, is it Roman's birthday? Oh, it's right? Roman's birthday. So I nannied for a family of six, and Roman was like six weeks old when I started nannying for them, and today he's three. So happy birthday, Roman. Aww. If it's not, we apologize. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> oh, love him. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to start out by praying for some requests that I've received um, in my inbox or on Facebook Live comments. So let's start with that. First of all, I have um, this amazing woman of God. Her name is Laureen, and she wants to pray for her friends, Don and LR, and they've just been going through health battles. So I'm going to lift them up in prayer right now. Father God, I just thank you that you give us the opportunity to pray to you and that we get to be on earth and that we get to have a community of people that you love and you care for. And I pray right now for uh, Laureen that you just thank you for her heart that she uh, doesn't put her needs before her friends, but she puts her friends out there for prayer needs and requests. And I just lift up Dawn and LR to you as they're dealing with health battles, God. I pray right now that uh, every doctor, every um, appointment that they have, that you'll just anoint the doctor's hands, anoint the nurse's hands uh, as they're, whatever they're doing, if they're doing testing or going in and out of the hospital, God, I lift them up to you and I pray healing over their bodies right now in the name of Jesus. And I thank you that their ministry is being birthed in this and uh, you only allow what we can handle and I know that they can handle this. You only give us what we can handle in a 24 hour span. So God, thank you for just being with them and as they walk through this health battle, God, show your way in it. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, I have another prayer request from Susan. I've known Susan for many years and she's amazing, but she is looking for a full-time job. So I'm going to just going to lift her up in prayer right now. Father, I thank you for Susan. I pray that you, the job that you have for her, the full-time position with benefits and tons of positive traits, God, that you, you put it on her heart exactly where she needs to apply, exactly where she needs to go. God, you are the creator of, of all things good, and I know that you've created a good job for her and uh, a better job than she's working right now. So God, we lift this up to you, and I pray that you just open her eyes to see your plan, open her ears to hear your plan, and we thank you for this, God. I pray that you continue to bless her and her, her husband, her life, and we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Is it working? Great. <laughs> okay. Pray for the iPad in Jesus' name. <laughs> that the because I'm trying to get Facebook Live to come onto my iPad so that I can I can look at your comments as we go, but just things aren't happening. So we're gonna continue on. All right, I'm lifting up Heidi right now. Her dad. She just asked for prayer for her dad. So right now, Father, I lift up Heidi's father to you in the name of Jesus. I pray that whatever he's praying for right now, that you give him all the desires of his heart. And I know that 
all things are possible through who that believe. And God, I know that he's believing for miracles and healings and whatever it is, God, we lift him up to you. He's just after you, God. And I know that you're going to do amazing things in his life. You already have. You already are planning on it. And we just thank you for his life. Thank you for what you're going to do. We pray that his life brings you glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <clears throat> Are you doing it on your phone? Yeah. That's a big deal. Josh doesn't have Facebook, so am I converting you over to a Facebook fan? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you will, though. This is like his, his first interaction with Facebook is this week on Facebook Live. This is the first time I'm even downloading it on my oh phone. Oh, gosh. Right now. Count yourself loved. I count myself blessed. <laughs> That's what I do. Gosh. All right, we're going to um, lift up Susie, her grandmother. Um, I, it's just a gen general prayer because I don't know what she needs but here let me do that while okay, you sounds good. sign in DJ Susie yeah Susie and Father God, we just lift up Susie right now to you for her grandma. Lord, we pray for healing in her grandma's body right now. Lord, whatever the situation is, whatever the circumstance, um, Father, whatever the grandma's need is right now, we lift it up to you. You know. We don't need to know, Lord. And Lord, we just pray right now for um, divine appointments within her grandma's life right now, Lord. Lord, if it's loneliness, if it's depression, if it's any um, sickness, Lord, we just give it to you right now, Lord. And Lord, I just pray for a blessing in Susie as well, Lord, for lifting her grandma up, Lord. And I pray that you just touch Susie. Give her the uh, wisdom. Give her the faith. Give her the uh, strength and the peace even in this time, Lord. We just thank you and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's weird. We're watching ourselves on Facebook Live. <laughs> okay. All right. But now you can send in your prayer requests and we can see them and it's closer to us. So that way we can lift you up in prayer immediately. And it's like really it's live. live right? Yeah, we're live. But um, this is what happens. Look. And you can comment. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, there was a prayer request uh, before yesterday. So I'm just going to lift those up really quick because, oh, actually I want to read something. I got a message yesterday of a prayer request that... No. Oh man, it's gonna make me download Messenger to read it. So hold. <laughs> You're getting Facebook Messenger on your phone as well. Well, anyways, I'll go on to the next one while this is installing. Um, all right, Sheila. She asked for prayer with her relationship with her boyfriend. Uh, it's changing. So, Father, I just lift up Sheila to you. We know this need. We know that you know this need specifically, and you know what you're doing in it. So, God, whatever they need right now, help them in their relationship. Guide them and use them. I pray that their relationship brings you glory. Uh, we just pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I don't have a update on Mr. Brian Cunnigan on his back, but I saw him on Facebook Live yesterday, so I know that he's uh, going strong. <laughs> he tuned in every day at 12 o'clock. The Life Church DC goes live from uh, their Manassas campus uh, at 12 o'clock every day, Monday through Friday, and they do a Facebook Live for prayer requests as well. So if you need more prayer, I've been logging on during my lunch break. So, But Brian was on there yesterday, so I know he's going strong and um, killing it. Did that download? Um, it's in the process. It's in the process. Yeah, so while we're waiting for that, um, we'll do the daily devotion, right? Well, yeah, I can just, I'll just sum it up. Uh, yeah. I feel, I feel like, um, I don't want to, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till Messenger comes up and share you, because it's, it's, a, it's a story that got sent in to me, and I want to be able to read it to you, so that you can be praying for this need, because it's kind of serious. So I'll wait. Um, okay, just do the devotional. You're right. Sorry. Continue on. <laughs> right. So the daily devotion for today is Thursday. Yep. It says, life is too short to live another day harboring unforgiveness and resentment towards anyone. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Holla back, y'all. <laughs> um, let's pray. Let's pray for the, like into that, though, for like the community and us. Any like that, just that. Okay. Harboring, what was it, unforgiveness? And, yeah, and, and bitterness resentment, and, and resentment. resentment. Yeah. Okay. Father God, I just help, 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 Jesus. We need your help in this area. It is. 
thank you for your forgiveness and we receive it right now. God, help it overflow so that it is just easier for us to forgive. Let us be that for our, our first reaction to everything and everyone, that we won't be offended. We receive your grace right now so that we won't be offended. We won't harbor bitterness. Just, Lord, help us see how important it is to yes. forgive others as you forgive us, God. Uh, we don't take it lightly, the forgiveness that you so freely give, and God, but we just need help in this area. I lift up anyone... Um, Anyone right now that is struggling in this area with resentment, bitterness, for unforgiveness, God, it is the poison that we're choosing to drink, and I don't want to drink it anymore. It's um, it's it's drinking poison and thinking that the other person is going to die. And Lord, I just pray right now that this won't happen anymore, that we won't continue to drink that poison of unforgiveness because it's, it's literally killing our souls. So, God, we lift it up to you, all resentment, all bitterness, all anger, any rage that we have towards others, towards your children, God. We lift it up to you, and I pray for anyone else that is struggling that, with that like I do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, God, for your forgiveness. <laughs> Thank you, God. Well, let's go to the iPad, and you can pull Messenger oh, it works. on that. Praise. That works. Okay, so this need I got from an amazing woman of God. She sent it to me a couple days ago, but I got the actual post, and I got permission to share. Hi, Melanie. I got uh, permission to share his name on Facebook Live now. So, so this is Robert writing this, okay? He says, pray every day. I tell my students often, don't play. On the 29th of July, my son's friend threw a rock into the water as my son was emerging from the water. It mm. struck him in the forehead. The physical damage, loss of his sense of smell, sense of taste, and will possibly be lost forever. His scalp had to be pulled down to repair so much damage. He has 45 staples across the middle of his head. He was released from the hospital on Friday after surgery on Monday. He... He is good. He's in good spirits. Your thoughts and prayers are appreciated at this time. Mm. So he was just released from the hospital on Monday. He had to have surgery on Friday. Uh, so we don't have the son's name, but we know that his last name is McKinney, and God knows his first name. So I'm just going to lift up his family right now in prayer because that need is pretty serious. There's even a picture that he posted, and um, I'll try to get to that post, and maybe I can share it on my page so that you can you can see it and tell him that you're praying for him as well. But um, yeah. Okay. All right. Father God, I thank you for this need that you have brought to our table right now so that we're able to partner with this family and prayers for healing and restoration in uh, Robert's son's life. I thank you, God, that he is safe and he's alive and that um, I just know that, God, you want to heal him and that there is a desire right now to heal him, God, because you love him and you care about him. And God, I know that you're going to somehow you're going to bring glory to this. You're going to bring out your good in this. And God, I expect healing. I believe in your healing and your miracles. And God, I just pr I pray right now and I declare over his life that any physical damage, whether it's loss of uh, smell, loss of um smell and what was it taste lord we reverse that right now in the name of jesus i know that you have a plan to heal him and it's already in progress so every doctor every surgeon every nurse that touches him let their hands be anointed right now in the name of jesus so that they can they can give him your healing um with science but god you are you are spiritual and you are miraculous and you're going to give uh, supernatural healing right now in the name of jesus i pray amen amen Cool. Hey, Brandon. What's up, bud? Hey. Okay. Let's see. What else? We are... You did the devotional. Yep. So let's just pray into um, the community and the people for revival, youth revival, and souls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which one do you want to do today? Um, either one. I'll do revival. I'll do revival. Okay. I'll give you souls. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You want to go first? All right. Okay. Father God, we just lift up revival to you, both youth revival and just regular revival, Lord. And Lord, we just pray right now that they're for influence in our community. Yes, God. Lord, influence in our workplace, influence in, in, in um, our schools, just influence in our grocery stores, just wherever we land today, wherever we go today. We pray right now that your light goes before us, yes, Lord. that you break down any stronghold, that any chains fall off in the name of Jesus. I also pray right now that as we are 
coming out of our own homes, Lord. Whatever um, hindrances that we have in our own homes, we lift it up to you in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. God. Lord, any any bitterness, any unforgiveness, any um, just harboring of any of this, Lord, we release it in the name of Jesus, Lord. We work in ourselves first because as we work in ourselves, we're able to go out freely and work in others, Lord. And so whatever we're holding, whatever addictions we may have, whatever anxiety we may have, any worry, any stress, any yes, financial God. stress, whatever it may be, Lord, I give it to you right now, Lord. You know our needs more than we even know our needs, Thank Lord. You. And Lord, so we trust in you right now. We have faith in you. We have faith in your provision. We declare provision over our lives. We declare your happiness over our lives. We declare your peace over our lives. We declare your comfort over our lives. And we declare your joy over our lives, Lord. And Lord, we pray right now that as we work in Lord, within our spouses, within our um, relationships, within our, our parents, our families, our friends, Lord, we just pray right now that we get our inner circle to just feel your love right now, Lord, as we go into our communities and we can preach your word right now, we can just provide the influence that our community needs, Lord. And Father, I just pray for our youths right now, Lord, as we pray into the Gold Conference, I pray that we have... Once again, just more registra registrations coming, Lord, to come because we are just believing that this is going to be a conference that is going to change our youth's lives, change these students' lives for the better, Lord, that it's going to be an influence for them to carry on into this next school year, Lord, and carry on for their generation and generations to come, Lord. And Lord, so we just pray into that. We just believe into that, Lord. We pray that as um, Manassas are opening their doors right now to host this conference, Lord, that we think about everything that we need for this conference, Lord, that we um, there's no discouragement. Rather, it's anything around this conference is full of encouragement, yes, Lord. Lord. And Lord, I pray for the last minute detail plannings that are going on right now. Let us not forget anything, Lord, but let this be a time where we can dwell into your word. We can dwell into your leadership, Lord, that you can show and speak clearly to each one of these students, Lord, as they do a reset in their life, yes, Father. Lord. We just thank you for the wisdom. We thank you for discernment. And we just thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, you, you touched on the youth revival, too, because yes. we have, at the end of August, August 25th and 26th, our church is doing a student conference, gold student conference. You can still register. There are uh, limited spots. It's starting to fill up really fast. So make sure you go to welovechurch.com slash gold students <laughs> to yeah. sign up it's anyone 12 to 25 can attend this uh, event and students lives if you get your students there it is going to change their life and um, their circle of influence actually this sunday if you have a student that is already registered and they bring every friend they know they can sign up for gold conference for half price so that's happening this sunday go to any life church campus at 9 30 or 11 30 and you can sign up your uh, students for this conference, your friends for this conference. That's right. We got a prayer request. So let me pray for uh, Melanie. She's asking for prayer for her for peace right now with all changes and transitions happening right now in her life. And she has big changes. So we're excited for Melanie. Love for Melanie. This. I yes. cannot wait to pray for her. Um, you you want to take yes. this? Yes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Father God, I just thank you for Melanie. I thank you for her heart that she, God, she loves your people. And yes. uh, her heart is to serve them. And especially with her job, God, what she's doing is not glamorous at all. Mm -hmm. But she loves it. And she's finding the joy. And she's rejoicing in it every single day. She finds it a blessing to do what she's doing on a daily basis. And that's awesome, God. I pray for her school mm -hmm. as she uh, prepares to go into the nursing program God yeah. guide her heart help her um, gain more knowledge and not just that but God help her retain the information that she's learning at George Mason and God help her to as she's going into the fall semester I lift her up in prayer right now so that her the the professor she has the students that she has in her classes God I pray that you use them uh, to influence her but God you use her to influence yes, them Lord. in her workplace in her classes God use her she has an amazing call on her life and an amazing anointing and I just know that through the gold conference through the gathering God you're taking her to places that she couldn't get on her own and I'm so excited to be able to partner with you God yes. in uh, helping her go go through that and um, Lord as things are changing as transitioning transitions are happening God we trust you we believe in you and I lift her up to you right now 
now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. You're getting it. into the nursing program, Melanie. It's happening. We believe in with you. Whatever it is. Is it this semester or next semester? Either way, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Oh, um, Al is on. Hey, Al. What's up? Oh, boy, Al. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, also, we are launching our... We have a student organization at George Mason University. It, it's a Tier 3, which is actually extremely hard to get, but it, it was prophesied into existence that we were going to be on the campus of George Mason University in fall 2013, so we've been there ever since. And it's called The Gathering. So if you go to GMU, come to The Gathering. <laughs> we're launching again for the fall semester on August 28th. It's every Monday night at 8 p.m., but we'll be at Harris Theater on August 28th, launching the semester huge. And so we're going to pray into that. Just uh, the campus is super cold. It's super dark. And I went there, so I can say that. But I, I would go into class with headphones in and leave with headphones in. Like you could go through your whole day without even having one conversation with people. So I want to lift up the students of George Mason, lift up the gathering launch, every other campus ministry launch, and uh, the Gold Conference specifically. Yeah. What? What are you smiling at? Because every time you say cold, I'm like, what? The heat's not working? <laughs> <You're right. laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever. Jeez. All right. Father God, I just lift up uh, students to you right now, specifically the ones that are in middle school, high school, and college. God, every, every, every school, every university, every in Virginia, but specifically uh, in our region right now, George Mason and all of the surrounding high schools, middle schools, and colleges that I'm forgetting about. God, I lift them up to you, and I pray for these students right now, the ones that don't know you specifically. God, I pray that, that you just plant divine appointments in their life. Put people, if they're sh whether it's sharing a locker with someone that knows God, let that happen. Let that be set up right now in the name of Jesus so that as they go back to school, you're already setting up appointments so that your students can find you, mm -hmm. so that they that you're going after them, but that, God, that they're aware of your presence, that you're, they're aware of your love for them, God. Help students find you this semester, God. Especially at George Mason, I lift it up to you. Whether it's a professor, a faculty, or staff member, God, I lift it up to you. And I declare over that campus right now that revival will happen in Jesus' name. God, I know that your glory is going to fall on that campus. Your anointing is going to fall. And I pray for every campus ministry that's at GMU. I pray that you have your way on those campuses in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We got another prayer request what? from Brandon Rule. Um, pray for understanding for this semester as it looks like I'm not going to be able to take classes. Oh, man, because of my new job. Well, um, we'll just trust and pray with Brandon right now. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. First and foremost, I thank you for Brandon, Lord. I thank you for bringing to him to where he's at right yes, now, God. Lord, within this job. This job is a blessing yeah, from you, you job, Lord. God. We have prayed countless times for new provision in his life, and you have answered that prayer, Lord. So we thank you for that blessing, Lord. And Lord, we may not understand why he can't take classes because the scheduling and all that, but there's a reason. Yeah. And so, Lord, we trust you. We believe in you. I pray right now that you give Brandon peace over this situation. You comfort him right now with understanding, and you give him wisdom, Lord. Lord, let him not lose sight of the vision that you have for his life. And Lord, I just pray that everything's just going to work out according to your will and yes, your God. plan and your timing, Father. And we just pray right now that patience enters Brandon right now, that he can just stay peace, in your presence and stay in peace within you, Lord, and that you will direct his steps, Lord. So I pray right now that he allows you to direct his steps, Lord, in everything in his life, Lord. Continue to touch him, continue to use him miraculously, Lord, and continue to just hold on to him, Lord. And Lord, just see him through into the next chapters of his life, Lord. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Awesome. Uh, what have we missed? We Have we prayed for souls yet? We have not. And then Paula struggling with forgiveness. Well, we should, okay. Yeah. We prayed that, right? We did. But just in Jesus' name, Paula, we're lifting you up in the prayer that we did earlier for you specifically right now. Um, okay, so souls and... Souls? What was the other thing? Oh, oh we did youth revival. Okay. Yeah, I did too. All right, got it. Because I was like, I have three in the checklist. What is it? All right, I'm going to pray for souls. This is anyone that has like fallen away from God because for whatever reason, really. So they are walking away from him right now in our community, in our neighborhood, in because uh, we just moved to Springfield. So 
anyone in this neighborhood. We don't really know if they're saved or not. So we're going to lift them up just in case. <laughs> and then uh, the region, the nation, the world. All right. Father God, thank you so much for your son that you sent him to die on a cross so that we can live in eternity forever. But God, that we have we have heaven on earth now. And I thank you for your freedom and your deliverance and um, breaking every stronghold, whether it's addiction or whatever it may be. God, I thank you that your that your blood was shed so that we can live in freedom, that we can live in purpose and fulfillment. And God, I thank you for that purpose and fulfillment, the divinity that yes. you have brought to earth. God, I just thank you so much for it. And I pray right now that the ones that have fallen away from you, the ones that don't know you yet, God, I lift them up to you. Just create divine appointments so that they can hear about you whether it's in a grocery store, if it's at a stoplight, God, you're just going to set it up right now in the name of Jesus. If it's at a gas station, God, you are going to set up people that they hear, they have it. Um, I just lift up the people that know you right now. And if they start to feel a tug on their heart, that they will act on it. Mm -hmm. If they start to hear you say, go talk to that person, God, I pray that they act on it, that they have the courage and the strength and the boldness to go and speak to the people that don't know you yet. God, sometimes you'll plant people in our hearts to pray for. And I just, I pray that we act on that as well so anyone that whether it be a vision or a name that just pops up sporadically that will stop what we're doing will stop the busyness and we will pray for that person whether it's uh, in a random time in our day or it's in the shower whatever it is God I know that you're speaking to us all the time and I pray that we just become more aware of your presence more aware of your your um, your tuggings on our heart God your spirit is within us and I know that you're giving us people to pray for so I lift up this neighborhood um, specifically I lift up this region region to you, God, and I lift up this nation to you, God. Anyone that does not know you, let them fall into your arms right now. Jesus, just make yourself so aware to them. If they need a mountain to move, God, move that mountain so that they know that you're there, that you bring signs and wonders, whatever you know their heart, you know the person and you know what they need to know, to know that you're real, that you're alive, that you're for them. So God, thank you for setting it up in advance. We praise you for all of these things in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Yay. Got two minutes left for seven. Um, we got all the prayer requests down. Um, so I just well, I, I was feeling like all morning that I just needed to encourage someone today that if there is somebody that has been on your heart a lot lately, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what it could be, but something that like you just you feel like you're supposed to bless someone, do it. Step out in faith. Sometimes God will tell you to do things that you don't understand and you don't need to understand it. But it isn't until you st you step out in faith and that you walk into that conversation that you're really afraid to have, whatever conversation it may be, just know that God already went before you in it and he's already softened the heart of whoever it is. So as you're walking into that conversation, go with boldness, go with that you don't have to have all the answers, but you have the answer inside of you. So whoever you're about to talk to, whoever you're about to bless, do it because the minute that person responds to you, I believe that you're gonna find out why God wanted you to do it. So it may sound crazy, it may sound, completely out of your normal, out of your comfort zone, but step out in faith because I know that what whoever God's putting on your heart, there's a reason for it and that person needs your blessing. That person needs your word of encouragement. Uh, whatever it is, whatever you're supposed to do to that person, uh, whether it be a, a word of knowledge or whatever gift you're supposed to be operating in, you're, you're gonna help someone and I just pray whoever it is to step out in faith, step out in boldness and bless that person. Yeah, Amen. that's good, amen. Close All right, out. cool. Well, I hope you guys have the best day ever. Oh, wait, one more minute. Cool. So you want to pray for us as Close we go out? out? Yeah, right, protection and stuff. Father God, we just lift up this day to you, Lord. We just thank you for waking us up this morning that we got on Facebook Live, Lord, and was able to reach so many, Lord. And I just pray right now as we get ready for work, as people get ready for work, as they get ready to go on with their lives, Lord. I pray for traveling mercies. Yes, God. I pray that you cover them under your precious blood. I pray for a hedge of protection over each one in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we can continue to just influence our community and influence our household, Lord, and just bring many to you in the name of Jesus, Lord. Continue to just reveal yourself to each one Lord and and reveal a name yes. where people have to reach out to Lord give them that holy boldness Lord and we just declare your love and your peace over each one in the name of Jesus Lord and I just pray once again for any unforgiveness mm -hmm. I pray right now for peace 
I pray right now for joy. I pray right now for addictions, Lord. I pray that you just have your hand on each one. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. Well, thank you, prayer warriors in the back. We have Jose and Rachel here with us. They've been praying the whole time for you guys. I see you a little bit. Oh, 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 yeah. They're there. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you guys have the best day, and we will see you tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. Tomorrow will be the last day of the week, and then we'll come back on Monday again. So tomorrow, 6.30 a.m., join us for prayer. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and message us right now, or you can just comment on this feed, whatever you want. Whatever is easiest for you, we will either keep you private or we'll get your permission to share on Facebook Live. Cool? Cool. Cool. All right. See you in the morning. Bye, guys. Bye. Is it? We got to end it. Oh, oh. gosh.